It's May 8th, 2023, and welping, welcome to Camping with Coach Rob. We're, we're at Bamberton Provincial Campground. It's just north of Victoria, just past the south entrance to Shawnigan Lake. Just drive another few K on the right-hand side, but it's before Mill Bay. So this is a, a, a great campground. I've camped here um, a few years ago with Shannon, and years ago with Heidi with Office Depot. They had an Office Depot party here. Then um, back, um, yeah, a few other times in those days. Um, so we're heading into the campground and um, we'll ch check out more of the campground later on. Okay, well, welcome to Camping with Coach Rob. We're up at Bamberton. We're staying one night at the Bamberton campground. As you can see, we got the van like parked over there, we're gonna make some lunch. I, I went to um, um, Thirty Foods and got like a single hamburger. They have the single hamburgers there. We got hot dogs, we've got beverages, and today's the day we have the um, the draft lottery for um, the NHL to see who will get Connor Bedard. So we're in stall number eleven, and I think you've all seen the van before. Um, we're gonna set it up for camping. We've already got it partly set up, but I got my camp stove in here. I had to get gas this morning. We're going to try to put an, an awning on and we got stuff all over the place here and I'm going to, I'm going to organize it and that's the seat I got um, a while back and it actually folds down to a bed. So um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to get things going here. We might make a hot dog or something soon and we'll, we'll, we'll video all throughout the day. So as we continue, I, I figured out there's a switch on on the dash that you can turn the dome lights off when it's when it's just parked here. Because I was concerned about that, having all the doors open, the dome lights on. So we got our stove here, and we got our butane fuel that we use, and we got some coffee for the morning. And I got a little pot to make um, the coffee in, and I got a coffee mug here somewhere here. Yeah, it's right here. So this is going to go in the back of the van. Um, in storage so we're getting sort of semi-organized now So right now stuff I'm not using since nobody's gonna be sitting with me. I'm gonna put on the front seat Right or or stuff. I know I'm gonna be using out of this bin here Right, we're gonna go through the bins and the bags They're gonna go in this drawer thing over here, which I might change for the next camping trip um, I got a bigger one or it'd be nice to have sort of some sort of um maybe small cabinet that goes in here that I can attach to the side. So right now I've just got this one and I got some friends along with me here. I got Nanaimo, that's the green guy, and I got Cabela. His name's Cabela because we got him at Cabela's. And I'll, I'll go around and show you the back in, the, in a sec. Okay, since I haven't done this for a while, I did bring a lot of extra stuff that I probably don't need. Um, I got lots of this paper here. Right, I'm just going to go through this now and sort of organize it. I do have an extra frying pan, but I don't think I'll be needing it because I got that frying pan. It's it's already good to have lots of stuff. Oh, and this is the fitted sheet that Shannon got me. I'll show you the fitted sheet right here. Um, so yeah, um, that's going to go on the on the chair here, which is the um, the bed one. Right, and I think this is going to work out really good. That's going to fold out to a bed. And we'll be able to set some things up over there. We got the jackery. We got the, the that cooler has the um, food in it, and I got the other cooler in the back over here that's got the um, the beverages in it. Um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. Okay, don't know how this is going to work or not. I've got um, a tarp here, right? It's only a four by six. We're going to try to make an awning off the roof, and what we're going to do is we got this board here. We're not board. It's a piece of strapping. And we're going to zap strap it onto here. All right, so we're, this is just for fun. We're going to see how it's how it's going to work out, see? As you can see, I got my makeshift awning support here. And we're just going to try to zap strap it on here. We're not, we're not even sure if it's going to work, right? But that's just temporary. Of course, I wouldn't drive with it attached like that. Now, the tarp itself is a 4x6. And it only has like a couple of eyelets built in it. But you can get these tarp clamps at the dollar store for like a dollar seventy-five, and, and they work pretty good. I had to use one a couple of weeks ago on my apron at work when the tie broke off. So we're going to try it on this. 
when you sort of get the idea how we got part of the awning up yet but we got to come up with a better system these stakes here they're not really long enough and i got to have a bigger hammer to um to to put it in next time so we'll, we'll have to figure it out or even if i had something like some big jugs i could fill with water um would be good too well you can sort of get the idea of the tarp system but i have to perfect it <clears throat> i think what i'm going to do for next time is see this square bucket here i'll bring more buckets they don't have to be square but i can um fill them up with water from the um from, from the water tap and that's what we'll do so for this one i i don't think i'll leave it up for tonight or i might leave it up for for a little bit or tr try to tie it to here but you can sort of see the idea how it will work but i got to get some jugs like this then then that will i can tie to the jug so we'll, we'll try to get it up so for tonight I, i'm not going to use the um the system with the poles right but i was thinking of doing if i could get a longer tarp right i could have a sort of like come out further than down I could actually do one on either side of the van, then that way it would give it more privacy. But for tonight, I don't think I'm going to use this. But I'm glad I figured it out because I could put one of those boards on either side to have a sort of like, like a wing coming down on either side. Like, like we'll figure it out. Or even on the other side, you could just have it like against the van to, for the um, for the um, privacy because I got no shades on the. Um, I got no window coverings so um, what we're gonna do now is I think I start I might make in the burger now okay do you want to see the burger okay thanks okay we're gonna go for a short walk now and try to find the washroom and get some water for the water jug then we'll come back and put some dinner this board here was the one that was zap strapped to the top of the van and we'll come up with a better system for that because that's gonna work really good <clears throat> for the awning okay we hope you're enjoying the video and it's no campfire tonight because we don't have wood um anyway it's gonna be a fun night okay just some of the general rules here it's um check-in is not before 1 p.m you gotta go in after one and that's the general rules and since it's right here we're gonna show you this for a few seconds a missing person um, from April 16, 2023. So if you see this person, I guess, please contact the number provided. Showing other parts nearby. It's hard to see in the video, so maybe just um, check on the um, websites. I didn't know that you can only smoke on your campsite. We'll take a look at these in a sec. As as you can see, they got bear-proof garbage cans and bear-proof recycling. And if you have leftover camp gas, generally people just put it in this area. And we'll lock it along over here. There's no overnight parking in this section right here, but. Oh, here's the map. We'll take a photograph of that too. Maybe I'll get a printout of that one. And if you do not have a reservation, check in at the shelter. So we're in stone number 11. We're number 11. Okay, we got the <clears throat> the um, water now. Well, that's the entrance there. So we, when we came in, we went down that road down there and we went all the way around. And now we'll walk back to the campsite.
It's about 54 sites here. It's and since it's a Monday, it shouldn't be that busy. So look how we are. Like there's going to be no one camping on this side of us, obviously. And that's where we are for the night, which is stone number 11. See, we'll confirm it's. Which is a nice. Well, I like this one. This is pretty nice. Stone number 11, we're occupied. We're in occupied territory. And we gotta be out by tomorrow at 11 a.m. Maybe we'll watch a movie tonight on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if Clay's streaming or not. So we're gonna set this up. We're gonna start cooking now. Okay, as you can see, we're back at the site now. We got our water and it's got a unique tap system. This is brand new, right? So you take this off of here, right? It's pretty cool, I think. Well, we can get that off and have to wash out with soap and water at home. So then this, because you want this on the outside now, this is gonna go on here, I believe. Right, and you can just screw this on to here. When you want water, we'll try it on the end here. See, it comes out like that. It's pretty cool, eh? So for now, I guess we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get the stove out and we're gonna start cooking the burger. Okay, as you can see, I got the stove set up here and I got some relish here and um, some snacks for later. Maybe we'll put them in the car and we'll have the burritos now. So I'll just put them right here. So what I did with the cooler here, I've got this cooler here. Whoa, what was that? It has the hot dog buns and the hamburger bun. I bought some hot dogs, maybe we'll have one later. But we're gonna start out with the, um, what I bought from Tricky Foods, the, the one serving of um, a hamburger. So I'm gonna cook that now. Right, but I think what we'll do is we'll get the bun ready first. And I got some, some mustard. And got, we'll put a couple of cheeses on. Uh, I was going to get the kind that has at Walmart, the one that has the whole package. It has everything in, like the mustard, relish, and ketchup. But unfortunately, they, they were out today um, when we did that, when I went there. So, so yeah, that's the story there. I went through all my stuff and I didn't have a knife with me, but I do, I do have this. It's a fork and spoon combination. And we're going to use that to make the hot hamburger bun, which I just had somewhere. I don't know where I put it. I guess I didn't get it out, eh? Okay, we're back. We've got the gas, and that was a bit scary for a second there because I, I couldn't get it in right, but I, I, I've got it right now. So we're going to start our cooking now. Right, that's locked. So we go on and ignite. Right, so we are... We're good. We're good to go now. That was a bit scary. I don't know what I would have done. I didn't have any other food. So yeah, this is from Thrifty Foods. It was $2.49. And it's fresh ground chuck medium cooked 165. Um, well, I don't have any um, way of measuring it. But look at that. This is good. Right? Can you see that? We're going to put it right on our, right on there. We're going to get a garbage bag going right now. <clears throat> we got the garbage bag ready to go here.
Yeah, there was a notch that wasn't lining up properly. <clears throat> I'm not sure if there's bears in this area or not. So before I go to bed tonight, I'll take it to the, um, to the thing. But for now, we're not even going to put it in the van. I don't think. Where should I put the garbage? I don't know what the people do on there. I think I'm just going to put it right, right here underneath this block of wood for now. Right? So that's what's happening there. And this. Steve Wallace would say it's time for step two. I'm going to do like a double cheeseburger with this and we got to grab something from the van. When I do connect reports and stuff, I always have one of these on the desk to get the angle of the... Um, of the video so this is going to be good we didn't put any spray on here but i don't think we need to yeah so i really can't clean the um I can't really clean this um, one here, so we're, we're not putting the bun on this one. We got the bun in here, right? And that's what we're gonna do. We'll, we'll put a new plate on for that. And it's 20 minutes away from the NHL draft lottery. Who's gonna get Connor Bedard? It'll be Vancouver, it would be nice. But I, I don't think so, I don't know. That's going to be a fun night. Maybe next time we'll go up to, um, <clears throat> go to a different one. But this is a nice one here. Okay, we got our burger well underway on our butane stove. Which is like a gal cinder. So you can actually see it spill if it comes out. As opposed to the um, propane where you can't. I'm looking forward to this. They don't normally cook like the fresh burgers. I guess they usually just use the frozen patties. Like we said, we got our condiments here that we're going to put on. And we're going to put double cheese, which is right here. So it's quite the setting. And we'll, and we'll show you in the van later on when it gets to the um, camping mode as that, as that will fold down into a bed. And we've got the sleeping bag ready to go. And we've got our our fitted sheet it's right over here on this other side i think next time i go camping i might have that this fold down and have another cabinet there i haven't really figured it out yet but well that's why um um shannon said to go like camping um and, and you can figure things out this is kind of hard to at the condo right with other people like walking by not not that they come by but anytime somebody comes by you, you wonder if they're going to talk to you or not one thing I just discovered, I had it on a high heat, I had it right on maximum. So like this is going to be cooked, but hopefully it's not burned. But anyway, we'll get the bun ready now, I think. Yeah, as you can see, I got my bun ready. I'm just going to try to cut this open a little bit um, to make sure it's cooked before I put the cheese on. It's very important that it's cooked thoroughly, can't have any pinkness. So I think we're coming along good here. It's going to be well cooked. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and we've got the bun ready, and we've got one piece on. I saved a piece of cheese, because I might make like a hot dog later on tonight. But we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to have this now. Thank you. Cheers.
yeah you can see the van in the background but that's that's good um there's no um there's no lights on in the van so that's good so you're gonna try the first camp burger i've made in i don't know when's the last time i made one of these like i guess when i went camping with shannon um a few years ago up in bamberton different site we were in a walk-up site over there and that's what i was gonna i was gonna go with her but i had a camp at the last i had to work at the last minute so me and sue drove her up there and um set her up and i came back the next day So, so far, the first couple of bites have been good. Uh, I like this um, <clears throat> system here with the butane. Once I got it in, it worked pretty good. Um, it's just a, um, of getting it in. So, um, I do have a bigger barbecue with a propane that uses a propane cylinder. Maybe we'll try that next time. This is that it takes up more room in the van. Right? But for this time, I did bring a lot of stuff. Not sure if I'm, what I'm going to use. Or, or not, but since I have this system and these are the single per paint or the single butane ones are about um, $5. I'm a little bit reluctant taking it back home with me because I got nowhere to store it at the condo, but like I'll figure that out. Maybe I can have a spot on the deck for it or something. Okay, I've had the burger, it was pretty good. So we just had the NHL draft lottery to, not the actual draft, but the draft lottery. And Chicago Blackhawks won the lottery this year. So they'll have the chance to select um, Connor Bedard in the entry draft in June. The Canucks um, stayed at 11th place. So the Canucks will still get a good player at 11. But um, I think we might go for a walk in a, in a few minutes here. Not sure what I'm going to do. I'll maybe try to clean the, um, clean the, um, frying pan but yeah that was a pretty good burger i hope you're enjoying the video please like and subscribe and check out our other videos and this one's not over yet we got more coverage to show you as we move along i think i've discovered i like these two bins here but i might get another gray one like the same size and ditch this one because that's where we have where we put the stuff when we're not using it and um because we still got stuff out here but that just goes well, a lot of it goes in the gray bin, like the stove goes in the gray bin and all that. And the cooler doesn't, but everything else does. So I think we're going to go for a little walk now. I think I think it's working out pretty good so far. That maybe we'll set up the bed or we'll get the jackery going and watch some hockey. Maybe we'll sit inside for a bit. I don't know, not really know yet. Hi, so what we're going to do now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to clean up here a little bit. Must have grabbed a different one earlier. So I kind of like that, then it doesn't roll around in the car. And that's the gas cap thing. So we're just gonna wipe this off as best we can. I guess we can use some water here. Let's do it over here. Obviously we'll have to wash this properly when we get home. And we won't drive with a full water tank. I'll put that in the garbage in a sec. But we do need a lot more of this. So, so you're going to get the idea how we're going to do this, right? So I don't need the full. Oops. Don't ever leave food laying around like that at the campsite. Because it's not good for the gander. Right? So I think you get the idea of what we're doing here, right? So... Maybe next time I'll get a brush for this. And then I gotta figure out, I gotta have a bag or something to put it in when I take it home, like. So, um, yeah, that's one thing I didn't really think of. So, next scene. Okay, on the list to bring next time, bring some soap, Rob. I'm trying to clean the frying pan over there, but I don't have any soap, so we're gonna just heat up some water and try to do it like that. 
Um, if I had soap and water, I, I could do it easily. Yeah, so this works really good. If I were to clean the frying pan, we saw how how greasy it was beforehand. It's actually pretty good now. Obviously, we're still going to wash it when we get home. And right now, we're just heating up a bit more water to clean the flipper itself. Right there, we're going to put all the stuff in the garbage. So for next time, I'm going to bring more more garbage bags, the more like small white ones like. I think that's a better way of doing it. And and I like my water jug. I know Shannon wanted me to get over thinking I should get a big huge one. But I think it's better to have a couple smaller ones like um, they take up less room in the car and they're easy to carry. But we can try a big one too. And this this isn't dirty. This is just because I'm going to put, I'm going to clean the, the flipper with it. Um, so yeah, we're getting the van a bit more organized. We got some snacks for later on. We got the jack here. I'll, we'll put it over there and we'll get the radio in place. And and I think Nanaimo and Cabela, they're doing good in here. They like camping. Okay. Oh, and there's, and there's Goldie here. Goldie's with us too. But, but Goldie always stays in the van. Goldie guards the van. Here you go. Okay, I think now we'll try to organize the inside of the van a little bit. Like we're not gonna go to bed just quite yet. Well, it's too early, like. We got our Drackery Explorer 300, so I think we're gonna put that right there. It's gonna be a good spot for it. We got some other stuff behind behind me here. We got a little light here, right? And um, yeah, the bed's gonna have to go way back. And we got, we got, it's on, or that mode. So that's going to go right here next to um, Cabela's right there, right? And we got um, this here is, is going to be to put the phone here when I'm watching TV tonight. We got a little clamp. So we don't need the clamp out right now. So we're just going to put her in there so we know where it is. We got our radio here and we got a, a weather radio here. I don't know why I bought this with me, but... Funny, I work at, at home. Oh, there it goes. So that's pretty cool that it still works. So we'll keep it off for now. Maybe we'll just keep that. There, we're gonna, the Jackery's already plugged. Well, the Jackery doesn't plug in, but there's a light back here we don't have the fan we do have a fan with us um so do we need that safety thing on why well, I, I guess we will that's a safety thing for the light so that's all right and, and to turn this on since it's this one here there's a button here to turn the jackery on then back on here is the um is the switch for the light see so that's gonna be nice at night having that on in here and we can move it around but i think that's a pretty good position right and that's the jack rear of course and we'll have our our our, our videos on tonight and I, I don't even know if i need to clamp it and we do have out front up front the um i did bring the um ipad too the mini ipad so but look at that that's pretty neat um yeah, so you always turn this off here when you're not using it, and I can charge my phone with it and everything, so it's going to be a fun night camping out in Goldie here. And of course, right now, the thing when I'm sitting on it, it will fold down to a bed um, later on, but for now, I'll just sit up like this. I think I've got to get out of the van, though, to fold it down. I tried at the at the condo, but maybe I'll try again in a bit later. Okay, so I think we'll go for our walk now. Okay, this is take two of this. That's the Jackery 300. It's powering the light. And you can see I got my custom table here. And this container here is actually bolted on. And I've got my um, 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 Bluetooth radio. There's a weather radio. 
And there's a little light here, and that's what we're going to set the phone on later on. And as you can see, I got it sort of semi-organized up there. That that pull-out um, drawer system there. It has some of the stuff I'm using regularly, and that white thing there. It's, it should go on the um, the window there to get fair share. And then you can see the front of the van, and there's the one of the coolers that has the food in, and the other coolers right there where the flashlight is, and that's got the um, the the um water and in the pop and all that and over here we got our our stuffed animal that we bought from home that's nanaimo and that's cabela i got him in nanaimo uh last august and this is the the light there so as as you can see um it's it's quite cozy in here we'll fold this out after and i think to fold it out i gotta get out of the van or, or we'll try um because i like my head to the back of the van yeah, so it's pretty cozy. It's the first time I've gone camping in this van. So hopefully it works out. There's lots of campsites in the area that we can go to in the future. Like um, right at Bamberton now, we can try Goldsum or we can go up island. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this style of video. This is going to be fun doing this. Okay, as you can see, that's where I'm staying tonight. In that campground there, in that site there. So we're just going to go for a little walk down here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how far I'll go. I might go all the way around, but I, I won't um, film the entire walk. I don't think it would be too long, like, and we don't really want to have other people in the <clears throat> in the video that we don't know, because that's not right. They may not want to, um, to um, be in the video. But it's a good opportunity to just to look at some of the other sites that are are empty. Like there's one there that, that you would call that a walk-in one. You see, you can't put the van like into that one. You'd be parking on the side of the right here. But for some people, that's fine. And I see Shannon sent me a message now. So um, I'll see what she said. This campground is a series of one-way ones. So up there you'd have campsites 14 to 25. Maybe maybe we'll walk up here for a bit or yeah, maybe we'll walk up this way, then we'll go around. I thought there would have been more people here tonight. Um But no. Apparently the reservations kick in in a, in a next week, then you gotta reserve all these stalls. But the girl did say there are some that are first come, first serve. But if I go again, which I will, I'll try to reserve one, I think, ahead of time. Because I'd be going during the week anyway. See, here's one here, everyone. It's a, a total walk-in one. Right, this is 19, so... This would be good if you're camping with a tent. Right, um... But um, not so much with the van, right? Because you'd have to cart everything down. This one here is not too bad. It's it's a drive-in one. And it's either good or bad that it's right across from the outhouse. I don't know if you like that or not. Yeah, there's no, nobody here. I thought I thought there'd be more than this, but it is a Monday going to Tuesday. Like a, a lot of these have step down in ones, but I guess that's okay. But I like having the van right next to the um, campground, like or right next to the thing. See, there's this one here, but it's um, it's some um, 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 close to actually. There's the van over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I think that's my van over there.
Yeah, because you can see the the, the jug on the on the table there. It's early. It's only six thirty nine. There's number 24. There's quite a few of them that are quite nice, actually, like any of these here are good. This is a big one. Well, this is a double one. This is when you'd um, go, do if you had a group. Yes, yeah, so what we did is, is when we cut up one, we cut one up, then we just sort of run around the block, like is what we did. But what we'll do is I think, as you can see, we're, Approaching reverse camped out for the night. I'll walk down the aisle that we were on. Right now I'm charging the, the phone on the um on the portable charger. Right. They they don't close these gates, um, but maybe they do in the winter time. Um I'm not really sure. Well, I know they're open now. Well, they're open all year, but it's hard to to know if they have the entire thing open for the entire season. Oh, here's the one I think. Shannon, I don't know if this is the one you stayed in that one time with Sue. I think so. We'll take a picture and send it to her. Yeah, so I think this is the one Shannon stayed in that one time that I was gonna stay, but I had to work. So this is where you walk up into it. Right. Which is, it's, it's not a bad stall, it's pretty nice. I stayed down there in the, I had the silver van in those days. Yeah, when I first came here this afternoon, I actually backed up into this one here, the number 10, but then I realized if I go to that one, I'll be no one next to me. This one's number six, it's a drive-in one. And it's kind of unique because it's got like a cliff over here. I'm not sure if I'd want that, like. But they're just quite picturesque, eh? Yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna walk down as far as this road goes, um, on on the like going down this way here, right, and see where that takes us. And when I get back, I might start getting the bed ready. Um, yeah, so this is going on pretty good so far. I, there's some things I thought like for future trips, I'll, I'll bring more of the little white garbage bags and some soap, and maybe like a scrubby to clean the clean the stuff. I don't need as much um, other stuff, I don't think. Like some of the stuff I bought, I didn't need. I'm going to try to get the, um, like something established for the uh, awning. Even if I need the awning, like we'll figure out. It's, it's kind of neat to have it or maybe have it sort of come down to the side. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess that's um, it for now and it's been a lot of fun so far um and today they did have the draft i guess not the draft the lottery and chicago won it so we're drafting at 11 vancouver will be but um yeah so it's going to be interesting um the rest of the night we'll keep you updated right now it is five no 654.
Okay, there is a trail down here that goes down to the um, beach, but I don't think I'm going to do it now because in 20 minutes Clay's streaming for the um, Oilers Golden Knights game. And yeah, and it's that's about a mile, so maybe tomorrow we'll do it before we leave or another time we'll just see how we are. I was just playing back some of the video I shot when I was on the walk here and some of them got um, filmed in the portrait mode by mistake. So, but that's kind of, okay, I can just readjust it. And this is another um, double sight, but this is a smaller one. So that's where you'd go if you had like two families or, or, a, or a gang of people like, and <clears throat> we've only allowed so many people per sight, right? So, and this is another, that's an interesting one. I'm not sure if I like the cliff there. <coughs> we'll just walk in and check it out. It's kind of too, well, it's okay if we're all adults, but yeah, it does kind of drop off there. <clears throat> and the campfires, you got to buy the wood from the um, park people. I think it's $10 a bundle nowadays. Um, I didn't bother tonight. Well, she didn't offer it actually. So I think we're definitely gonna head back to the van and get ready for the clay, clay stream and maybe charge us on the jackery. Um, so yeah, you can't really get lost in here where you could, I guess, but Yeah, we're gonna head back down, back down this way. Well, we know what stall we're in, right? Remember what stall we were in? Okay, I won't say I'm lost because I know where I am. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the van is just up by those gates there to the right. I walked down a bit further, well, within the campground, I walked down well, you saw where I walked, and um, I kind of twisted myself around, but it's it's no problem. We know where we are, and we are, in fact, over there. You can see the van. It's weird to feel not lost, but you get discombobulated for a few seconds. It's getting cooler out now. Hopefully I have enough... Um, well, I did bring a warm shirt to sleep in and I got the sleeping bag and a comforter. And yeah. Well, I don't know if we're gonna make hot dogs later or not. I got other snacks too. Um, well, I guess we could, or maybe save it for a late breakfast tomorrow. Have a hot dog for breakfast. That would be interesting. So here, I hear a car coming behind me, but it could be the park interpreter. Okay, so we're back. Yeah, it is. So we're back at our base now. Okay, this is the first I've never watched Clay from a campsite before. Um, Clay Emo, the guy that does other commentary um, Canuck Clay, he's going to do a live stream in about 10 minutes talking about the Golden Knights and Edmonton Oilers. He's going to stream the last period of the game. Now, when I watch it, I won't be watching it on the um, on the iPad. I'll probably just switch back to the phone just to make it um, a bit easier if I do a comment or not. But basically, we're up at Bamberton Campground, um, as you know, and we're going to watch the live stream. So I got my beverage ready and it's going to be interesting. You can see some of the big names of the fall of the chat are already in the stream um, watching. So if you've never seen Canucks, Canuck Clay before, please check it out. He streams most Sunday nights at 1030 and, and select other nights during the week during the season. Okay, we're having a great time still at the um, campground, obviously, and there you go. Okay, we made an addition to the side of the van here. <clears throat> I actually saw this on YouTube. I should have done a video of installing it. This white thing here is part of um, well, it's part of a gutter system. 
right and you buy them at home depot so i've wound down the window a little bit and this tape here is called glad gaffer tape and it's used in um like recording people use it when they're setting up stuff on mics and stuff and um on stage and stuff because it doesn't wreck paint so this is how i can get air in the van now I'm, obviously i'm not going to cook in the van like some people do and i don't have a heater in the van like some of the youtubers do so yeah it's going good i've been watching canuck clay and i'll i might sit in the van for a bit now at some point i'll have to make my way up to the washroom and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another hot dog later on or night. I, I might. Like, I don't know. It's early yet. Um, well, it is 8 o'clock. I do have other snacks in the van. So, bye for now. I just thought of something now. Um, I do have a screen tent at home that, that I got from somebody in the lobby for free. I should make sure it's all there because I, I could set it up next to the van and have a tarp going over top of it. Right? So, I could... Um, like have a screen tent right outside the van or, or, or figure out something like that. So it's 8, 18 p.m. We're just in the van, just relax, relaxing. And we got Canuck Clay on the iPad I was watching on the iPhone, but the story that I'm watching <clears throat> while camping, I've got the ad on the iPad now for a bit. And I'll probably watch some of Chrome's videos or, or something. And we got the Jackery 300. It's powering us out. It's doing really good and yeah, it's a lot of fun so far. Okay, as you can see, it's still in day mode. We're now going to put it into night mode. We're going to fold the um, the bed down. I don't know if I can film this or not. We'll try to film it maybe. Hang on. Okay, we're going to do step one of putting the bed into bed mode. we got a couple steps as we have the, sheeted, the covered sheet. So we're going to unfold the bed first. <clears throat> so what I do is I go to the back here, flip this down. Hang on, how do I do this now so it doesn't... I'm stuck on the... Oh, I know what I do. I gotta, I gotta take it out. That's just how I do it. Flip it down like that, right? That's right. And I send the go like that. That's the bed, right? And we do got to move some stuff because you're going to pull it a bit more forward. We're going to pull it a bit more forward, and we're going to put on our our fitted sheet. So we'll show you that in the next scene with the fitted sheet on. So now we've got the fitted sheet on, and now we're going to put the the pillows out in the sleeping bag. Okay, we've got the comforter out now. We've got our sleeping bag here that we'll put on. We've got our pillow there. And I think I've got another pillow in there. So we're almost getting all set up here. It's going to be cozy. We did it. We've got the bed made. We've got our snacks here for Canucks After Dark. We've got beverages here if we need it. And we've got the seat here that I can still sit on. So I, I think Shannon, no, I think we're going to keep the seat up after all. Um, I think we're going to keep this seat up after all. We won't do another cabinet. Maybe I'll build a cabinet under, underneath a desk. I think that's the best way because I like this setup. I can still sit. I can still sit up there. Right, so that's what we're going to do, I think. <clears throat> okay, it's kind of dark now. It's spooky. Right, so... I can't believe we're in the van. It's so comfortable. So as you can see, I've got the bed here. And like, no, I think I will leave up the seat behind the driver's seat. Because look, I, I can sit here. I have like a living room. I can sit. I can put my phone here on this. Right? And, um, and, and watch videos. Like, this is quite comfortable. Like, um, can the seat angle back a bit? I don't know. I'll have to play around with that at home. Like... Um, can the seat, if the seat can go forward a bit, can it? I don't know. This is the things we got to adjust at home. Right, we'll play around at home and we'll get it perfect. 
this is really comfortable. I moved the seat forward a bit so it actually locks on this and I can sit here quite comfortably, right? And um, I got my little table here and I got the table behind here too, right? And I can sit back there too and do stuff when the seat's up, right? So I think we did, we did good here and there's pockets in the door here where there's a drink holder there, but and that's that there. So this is, we're, we're doing good and I like that there. Right, so now we're just going to try bed mode for a few minutes and we'll get back up. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see how I've got it configured, but I can actually lay down quite comfortably here. And I've got the, the desk thing over here too that I can um, like watch the, watch the stream or watch whatever I want to watch. Like, So this is going to be really comfortable. Like I think it's going to work out good. So I'm not going quite... To bed yet it's only 9 12 i'll watch some youtube videos and we'll we got the light up here that i've had in the when i used to camp in the kia i don't think we did any videos for that but so we're going to leave the seat up we're not going to mess around with that but we'll build some sort of cabinet underneath in here or figure out some drawers and stuff for underneath there just to make it a bit more functional but i really like this here because that's my suitcase up there and what's this up here that's part of the Oh, that's part of the seat belt system for the third row. Um, okay. So it's 9.41 p.m. Just sitting on, laying on the bed here. <laughs> Underneath this desk here or table. I think I, I'll try to fit some sort of cabinet in there. Right? And, and that would be better. Because I do like having that seat up there because I can sit on it. Um, there's lots of room here. Um. Like for one person, it would be tight with two people, but I know people do it. But yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I might try to fall asleep before it connects after dark, or I might, I might watch the beginning of it. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it's almost time for me to go to sleep. Um, there's, I'm still going to watch um, Canucks After Dark, and we got an animal here in Cabela. And my friend Shannon's going to... Um, we usually do like a video, quick video chat before I go to sleep. See, I'm in my pajamas now. I still got the same shirt on, but that's okay. But I got warm, warm clothes on. So, and I got another shirt up here in case I need it. So it's been a pretty much success, and I... And... I figured some things out. It's going to be good. Um, make some modifications. I really like this system back here. <coughs> How I got the um, the small suitcase with all my clothes in, and we'll figure out something for underneath in in this area here. See, we're gonna like change something in here, and we'll figure that out. And yeah, so that's it for now. Good morning. It's now the Tuesday morning. It's about seven twenty a.m. I have been out of the van once already. I went had a, a a run up to the washroom there, and I'm back now. So I'm just gonna maybe lay down for about another another hour or so and see what um, I'm gonna do for the rest of the, the day. I gotta be out of here by eleven, so I'll probably make some coffee and have um, a couple of granola bars for breakfast. Um, I didn't bring any um, eggs to cook. Maybe next time I'll I'll bring more food like that. But I think everything is good and it was a, a, a good temperature in the van. It's not too hot. And I think that that um, that screen thing we put on the window worked out good. Um, because if you were in a tent, you'd probably be much more cooler than I was. Anyway, hope you're all enjoying the video. Hi, it's Tuesday the 9th. Now it's about 8 past 8.30 in the morning. Uh, I just got got up and I'm fully dressed and I'm going to put the camp or, or the seats back up and move some of this stuff to the to through the back of the van and um yeah so we gotta break camp now and we'll film some of it I guess okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold the bed back up and all that but I've already got the sleeping bag sort of half folded up but it doesn't need to go like fully done until um we get home. So I think I'm going to fold this over like again.
because there's a spot underneath that desk there that we're going to keep or uh, underneath the table that we keep this in the van like all the time like I've only used it once so I don't need to wash it like again until next time so that's going to go in the Walmart bag it might not go in perfectly first time I will give it a shot right and um I think that's got it in so we'll just toss this to the front then the printed sheet worked out really good but I think I will wash that when I get it when we get back to the condo uh oh it dips there's a little hook there that's a little bit I might have had that upside down, but it's sort of the same on the thing. We're going to put this in the laundry basket in a second. So for the purpose of the video, we'll just stick it there for now. So, so to get this back up, it goes like that. And then we got to turn it around. Oh, an IMO fell. An IMO buddy, say hi to your fans in YouTube land. He came for the trip. So it's going to go like this. Look at that, isn't that slick? I think that's pretty good. As you can see we got that back up to that mode now so I'll just tidy this area up here and as you can see the one comfortable uh, and pillow they fit right underneath here in this bin underneath the table so now we're gonna take the um the the bug thing off here which worked out really good um, Yeah, so I'm gonna take. I'm gonna remove that now. It 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 worked pretty good last night. One thing you gotta remember is the stuff on the picnic table here. I gotta put the stove away and empty the water jug and put the stick for the roof in. But it's it's coming along pretty good. Didn't use it this time, but this is the toaster I have. And apparently my mom and dad used to go camping with this in the 50s and 60s. So this is pretty old. I know me and me and our friend use have used it before in the 90s and stuff, but it's. It's a pretty neat little one. As you can see here, we got the stove in here and this white, this white basin will go in there, which I didn't, um, I didn't use this trip. I just used the, the water over there. So that's going to go in here. Now, one thing I did here is this um, um, drawer cabinet, which um, worked out really good. Um, I've just spun it around this way. So if the drawers open, they won't go into the, um, into the van and um yeah so we're almost packed up here okay we just got to empty the water jug now and that's it in the gas i'll pack that away or i might take it to the recycling section because i don't really want that laying around the condo because i, I won't be going camping in the next few days right so maybe that's what we'll do oh just a footnote on the um water jug before i put it away in this case we have a a 2.5 gallon one or 10 liter um, I, I know you can get much bigger ones but I'd rather have two small ones than one big one just for the weight factor like when you're carrying the carrying it just before I head out of the campsite not sure what I'm doing and if I'm gonna go directly home it is 925 it's about a half hour drive back home or I could go to Duncan um, and go to the McDonald's, I guess, there, or or just wait and make something at home. Um, yeah, there's one in Meal Bay, but it's kind of tricky to get in and out of. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so I'll let you know what I decide in a few minutes. Okay, we saw this last night when we were here. It's, um, I'm going to try it out. It says it's a steep grade. Um, so, yeah, um, we're going to check it out. As you can see, it is pretty steep here. And I just have regular walking shoes on, so I don't know if I'll go all the way to the beach. It's like 1.5K. I guess I've gone this far, I might as well. I don't know. So I don't, I don't think I should film the whole way down. It's going to be... Oh, it would take too long on the video.
we're still plugging the log on the trail um, it said it was 1.5k from the beginning so that's like a mile that's um like a little bit of a distance I just don't want to miss out on any great spectacular view if there is one. Oh yeah, you can sort of see through the clearing there um, a bit of the ocean, I think. But it's going to take a steep turn here. Oh, there's a parking lot here, so we're at we're at something here. It's the day use area. I've driven there before, but I've never gotten out of the car. So apparently it's only 600 meters down here. That's the trail to the campsite up there. So we're gonna walk down here. Well, it's only 600 meters, so we might as well walk down here. And we just got to remember to go back up there when we're done. Well, that's just the maps that we saw earlier yesterday. So you can walk straight and go around the switchback. Which I, I think I'll do. There's a staircase there. Maybe we'll take the staircase on the on the way up. This is sort of like the switchback when you drive to Azoyas when you're driving. Maybe down the road, if I do more of this type of filming, I'll get a GoPro rather than use the memory on the phone because the phone takes up a lot of space on the um with the data like and well not with the data with the with the when it records it onto the um the memory in the in the phone like the drive in the phone so when we get closer we'll do more so that's just that staircase that cuts off this switchback here, right? That's what that is there. Maybe we'll use that on the way back. So we're in the day use area now, Pemberton Provincial Park. There's no campfires down here anymore. As we saw the sign in the beginning, apparently they used to allow campfires down here, but I guess not anymore. So I've never been down here before. This is a day use area at Bamberton Park. Right, this is beautiful down here. There's lots of picnic tables. Now, to get to it from the campsite, you gotta walk down that steep trail like we did, or you could park at the day use area and come here. Well, I bet this gets busy in the summer, right? And there's an outhouse there. But I think, you know, I think we have, um, I'm going to check it out. Is there like an actual, well, there's actually a washroom center, but there's there, um, like a, like a shower too. Look at that. Somebody lives right over there in that house there. Wouldn't that be nice to live there? And they got their boats. Okay. I just checked out the, the area here. There's a changing area in here, and there is an outdoor shower here, if you can believe that. So if you really wanted to have a shower, you could walk down to the um, camp um, camping area here, and you could have an outdoor shower. That'd be kind of neat, I guess. So we're going to walk back to the van now because it's, oh, it's 9.47. we got to get out um, by 11. So we're going to walk back now. It's 9.47. So by the time we get back to the van, we'll just head out, I guess. And um, maybe I will go to Mill Bay for breakfast or Duncan. Um, these are pretty close, like, um, 
yeah so let me know what you think of the video so far and check out the other videos and we'll see you in a bit okay to save a, a few seconds here we're gonna instead of going around like when we came down we're gonna take the staircase up and now we'll cut off a bit of um, time but like I mentioned earlier if you've got a walker mobility issues obviously you're not going to be taking the staircase that's why they have this over here okay we just came from there obviously right now we're going to walk back to the campsite. It's a steep grade, but it's funny. They say pets must be on leash at all the times. But over here it says no, no dogs on the beach. But I guess at the campsite you can have your pet, obviously. That's why. So walking back to the campsite, it's steeper. Always seems steeper going up and going down. Okay, we're almost at the top. Now it's going to head back to the site where I stayed at. As you can see, we're almost back at the van. It's, <clears throat> well, it's about 10 a.m. now. So I'm going to pull on. I think I will go to Mill Bay to the McDonald's there for the breakfast. Then I'll figure out what I'm going to do from there. Okay, it's been a fun, exciting time. The time went by so fast and Maybe next time we'll camp for a couple nights, but it had to bring more food and more, more um, things to do. Like, so one of the things we do is we take our tag off the off the pole here, so the parks people know that we're gone, and somebody else can come and take the stall. Okay, as you can see, everything's packed up. We're gonna head to Mill Bay for some breakfast. Then we'll probably just head home after that. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, so thanks. Okay, I think we're gonna end the camping portion of this video now, because we are heading to Mill Bay to get some breakfast. Um, so please like and subscribe. If I record anything after this point today, I'll let you know. And it will be, um, that's kind of weird. There's a tour bus going in here. That's not the way to the, um, he must be confused. That's not the way to the, um, to the, uh, thing. Um, he's probably trying to get to the, um, day use area. Okay. It was definitely a tour bus. It wasn't a, a motorhome of any kind. Okay. So, um, I guess thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun doing this. Thanks. It's time for that blog. As you can tell, we're back at the condo now. Everything's out of the van and it's all cleaned up. I vacuumed the floor and just grabbing the pot that was in the back. And it's, um, yeah, it was a great time. So please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the, in the next video whenever that is. It should be soon. Thank you for watching.